Good evening, everybody. I was just looking at my phone and watching the uh, people that were signing on and uh, noticing in some of the comments. I saw, I saw Sandra Halliday signing in from uh, Indiana, and, and, and right at the last second before I had to put my phone down, I saw Steve Brown signing in from Mississippi. So it's funny. It's uh, pretty neat that like even when we're kind of spread out even across the country, we're still able to assemble like this. But very cool, and I'm really glad that you guys have taken the time to come here to pray tonight. And uh, we've got some things to pray about. There's a few people even in our church I want to pray for tonight. And just want to pray and uh, and worship the Lord. I I have, uh, I think we've been doing this uh, prayer time on Tuesday nights long enough now that I've probably read this psalm to you at some point already to begin one of our prayer times, but just really had it on my heart, shared it with somebody earlier uh, this afternoon, Psalm 96, and uh, just was really impressed by some of its words and just really wanted to share it with you. So uh, let me open our prayer time by reading from Psalm 96, and then we'll all go to the, the Lord in prayer together as I lead us, okay? So welcome to Fellowship Bible Church Online here. Here's our online prayer time. Thank you so, so much for being here. Here we go. <clears throat> Psalm 96. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his wonders among all peoples. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the peoples are idols. But the Lord, that's L-O-R-D capital letters, that's Yahweh, his covenant name. Yahweh made the heavens. Let me read that verse 5 again for you. For all the gods of the peoples are idols, but Yahweh made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Give to the Lord, O families of the earth. Give to Yahweh glory and strength. Give to Yahweh the glory due his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. O oh, worship Yahweh in the beauty of holiness. Tremble before him, all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world also is firmly established. It shall not be moved. He shall judge the peoples righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and all its fullness. Let the field be joyful and all that is in it. Then all the trees of the woods will rejoice before the Lord, for he is coming, for he is coming to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. Hallelujah. You know, when you say hallelujah, you're saying hallelujah. It means praise to Yahweh. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Most holy Lord God in heaven, almighty Lord Yahweh, the one and true living God, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, the only God, the living God, the maker of the heavens, the maker of the earth, the maker of all things in the earth, the maker of each one of us, the one who grants us life and every good thing that we have. You are God, and we bow before you together here tonight, and we worship you. We come to you in the name of Jesus, who is one with you. The Father and the Son are one your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You gave Jesus. And Lord Jesus, we worship you that you gave your life for our sins and you rose from the dead. And now it's through faith in your name that we can approach you, Almighty God. And that is our only hope. 
that is our only access. You are the door. Praise your holy name. And your sheep go in and out and find pasture. Praise your holy name. Thank you, for you are the Holy Spirit living in us. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit, the three are one. Our almighty God, we worship you, we praise you. You are awesome. All the things you have done are awesome. The wisdom by which you have done everything you have done is staggering and incomprehensible. And yet it's in that same wisdom that you brought, brought forth redemption through Jesus, carried it out, and then by your power and your grace and your love, you have drawn us to yourself. You have granted it unto us to repent and to believe and believe your gospel and be converted and reconciled to you, to be justified by your grace through faith. Awesome. Praise you, most holy Lord God. Lord, your gospel continues to go everywhere in the world. Even as we're praying right now, out through this broadcast even, people are listening to this and they can hear the words of your gospel. They can hear the words of Christ crucified, buried, and risen from the dead. And that there is salvation in him and in him alone, not in any other name. Hallelujah. Your gospel continues to go throughout the earth, and then there's the words that closed this psalm that said that the, the let the heavens rejoice, the earth be glad, the sea roar all its fullness, the field be joyful, all that's in it, the trees of the woods rejoice before you. Why? Because you are coming. Hallelujah. You are coming to judge the earth. You will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with your truth. Praise your name. Blessed be your holy name. Lord, we love you, not because we were smart enough to figure you out, but because you loved us first and brought us to yourself. You demonstrated your own love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Thank you so much, Lord God. How good it is for us to be able to, to pray. And some of our brothers and sisters are spread out even across the country right now, listening to this and bowed before you and praying together. It's, it's pretty cool, Lord. I mean, we, we miss gathering together, but at least we have this. And we thank you, Lord God, for it. I do pray, Lord, you would bring about that time where we're just all bold and courageous and comfortable and able to just come back together, Lord God, and just be your church and assemble and manifest the, the invisible glory of the work of the gospel, the building of your church, the building of your kingdom. I pray, Lord God, you'd continue to protect your people in the midst of what's going on in the world, but help us, Lord, to keep our eyes on you and to be faithful. You're the head of the church, not any man, not any earthly institution. You, Lord, are the head of the church. You've directed that we should be good citizens while we're here in this world, that we should obey the authorities. And I pray, Lord God, you'd help us to be wise and humble and be a good testimony by doing so. But also, Lord God, don't let us fall asleep. Help us, Lord God, to be vigilant and to remember you are our Lord. And at the end of the day, what matters is that we follow you and serve you and obey you. Give us courage in our hearts, Lord God. Increase our faith. Help us to feast on your word. Receive it and believe it and be doers of it. Help us to pray without ceasing. Help us to assemble, Lord God. Help us to break bread at your table and honor you and Help us to worship you who have saved us. Praises to your holy name. I pray that you would strengthen this church, this gospel ministry, this disciple-making ministry, Lord God. The fellowship of these people. I pray, Lord God, you would strengthen our ministry, Fellowship Bible Church, and I pray that you would strengthen every ministry that preaches the Word of God, preaches through the Bible, verse by verse, Every ministry that brings forth your gospel and truth. 
Strengthen them, Lord God. Help us to be strong, to endure hardships as good soldiers of Jesus Christ. Help us to be known by our love for one another. Help us to be known by our steadfast commitment to you, our steadfast love for you. Help us to be known by our worship of you. Help us to be known by our service we render to you. Well, do anything because we're trying to earn our place before you, Lord. You, you accomplished it all when you died on the cross to bring redemption. Now we who have faith in you, our lives are yours. Take us, use us for your glory, Lord God. Work in us and through us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Lord, there's a few of the families of our church that I want to remember before you tonight, Lord God. We lift up to you our sister Peely, Lord, and we pray that, that you would help her, Lord God, to uh, recover, Lord God, from COVID. And it seems like she's doing pretty well with it. And I thank you for that. I pray, Lord God, that you would protect her family. So far, they've all tested negative, and that's wonderful. And I know that Peely's carefully quarantining in her house and, and trying to do everything right. And I just pray, Lord God, for your blessing and your protection and your healing. And I pray that the faith of that family, Lord God, would grow strong in you and we would see them return to our fellowship, Lord God, and just be the, the, the good, strong contributors of joy and, and, and fellowship and gladness that I know they have in them, Lord God. I pray you just strengthen them and help them to be a great testimony, Lord God, of faithfulness to you. Thank you, Lord. I pray, Lord God, for our sister April, who I know, Lord God, in addition to ministering to her own family, takes care of her mom, takes care of her aunt now, and that just involves so much. And I pray, Lord God, you'd strengthen her and help her and just give her, grant to her, Lord, everything that she needs. You know, she's done so much in our church here over the years and I pray, Lord God, for your strength to just help her do what she needs to do in her family now, Lord God, and that her faith in you, Lord, would remain strong. Thank you, Lord. I lift up to you our sister Judy, Lord God, and I pray for you to help her, Lord God, with some of the pain that she feels in her body. And just help her, Lord God, to, to read Psalms and read your word and to love you and to worship you and, and to just be very close to you in her mind and in her heart. Strengthen her, Lord God, and strengthen her and Nelson and Melissa and the whole family, Lord God, there. And I just pray, Lord God, for all of your goodness to be at work in our dear sister Judy, Lord. I pray for Ronnie, Lord God. We've been praying for him, and there's, there have been, Lord, what seems like some positive signs and some, some improvements in some things. And, and I know it seems like the road ahead of him is still long, but I pray, Lord God, for physical healing which you have the power to do. And I pray, Lord God, especially that in his mind, he, Lord God, would just contemplate his place before you and that he would believe the word, Lord God, that he hears. I know that he and my mom and my sister, they listen to all these broadcasts that we do. I rejoice in that. And I pray that the word would take root in his heart, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. I lift up to you our sister Randy, Lord God, who... I know just loves you and new believer and is just on fire for you and wants to serve you and there's a lot of things in her family lord god where she needs to minister i pray for her mom i pray for her brother i pray lord god just for randy in general that she would have strong faith in you and that you would give her lord god everything she needs to be a good just representative of christ to her family faithful in her family as well as lord god just staying in your word staying in fellowship as much as she can and just keeping her faith in you strong, Lord God. I lift up to you, Lord God, the, the Halliday family, Lord God, as I know they're traveling, and, but uh, I pray for Addie, Lord God, that her pregnancy would, would go well, Lord God, that you would help her. And, and I pray, Lord God, for Ryan, that, that you would help him, Lord God, to receive the comfort that he needs, Lord God, as he goes through this very difficult part in his life. And we just pray, Lord God, for everyone in that family that there would be love for you, faith in you, trust in you, that you would help and provide everything they need. I pray for Jerry, Lord God, who I know is hanging around and helping the family, Lord God, here in New Jersey. I pray you provide everything, Lord God, that she needs and strengthen her as well. Thank you for her faith in you, Lord God, as well. I pray for all the people, Lord God, of our church. 
that every one of them, Lord God, would love you, love your word, love to worship, love to pray, love to just be part of the body, Lord God, and contribute to the body, their love and their energy and their service in whatever way they can. Help us to not neglect assembling. Pandemics and government restrictions are not what direct your church. Your spirit, your word, you, Christ Jesus, the head, you are the director of your church. And I pray, Lord God, just for all of our people that they would be strong in you and bold and courageous in you. Thank you for your grace. You saved us by your grace and you keep us by your grace and you will deliver us in the end by your grace and power and love. Really, what, that's what it boils down to. That's what we have. That you are a gracious creator and heavenly father. Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you for Jesus, your son, the proof of all of that. The real beauty in the entire history of this world is that you graced it with your presence, Lord Jesus, and you came into it and introduced redemption and forgiveness by your sacrifice and by your love and by your victory over death. May we all love and focus on and worship and exalt your name, most holy Lord Jesus Christ. Fill us with your spirit. This psalm that I read, Lord, says that you are great and greatly to be praised. In other words, as great as we understand you to be ought to measure up with the greatness with which you are praised. Greatly to be praised. Help us not to be dull, sleepy, passive praisers of you, but enthusiastic, dedicated, passionate praisers of you because you're not a dull, sleepy God. You're a powerful, active, majestic, holy, astonishingly, immeasurably wise and loving and gracious God. You are great and you are to be praised greatly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, most holy Lord God. Thank you that we can be assembled even if it's online like this, Lord. Actually, it's really cool because like I said, you know, there are some people that aren't even in the state, Lord, that are able to be part of this tonight. That's really great. I thank you for that, Lord. We worship you together tonight. We give you thanks. We give you praise. We give you all the glory for everything. And I give you thanks, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for taking the time to be part of this prayer time. It's so important that we assemble like this. We are manifesting to the world the invisible, glorious, supernatural reality of the work of the gospel in the hearts of people who believe we are one body and we assemble that's on display for the world even like this online people see you all gathered online and it's like what are these people doing listening to this guy pray well we're all praying together and the world can see that there are people that love god and love the lord jesus as well as we're just we're just praying and worshiping and seeking the lord together so stay at it stay at it and encourage each other to get in and be part of it you know I mean, we want to serve God. We don't want to get to the end of our lives. And he's coming. You read this word. He's coming. He is coming. We're getting close and close and closer to him coming. We don't want to like be here when he arrives and then be like, why did I waste so much time on this or that and not devote myself more to even simple things like assembling with church to pray and, to, and everything. We want to be part of this. We want our lives just filled up with fruitfulness and service that glorifies and honors the Lord, right? right? Amen. That's what I want to be part of, and I know you do too. It's in our grasp. It's within our grasp. Hallelujah. All right, everyone. As far as like the life of our church goes, 
We have our Way of the Master Evangelism training course meets right here tomorrow night, not online, but that's actually in person only, uh, right here at 7.30 tomorrow night. Next time we'll be online will be Thursday night for our uh, Bible study. Um, that'll be 7 o'clock right here. You can come in person or you can be right here online Thursday night at 7. Uh, information about men's, women's stuff, uh, that'll be coming separately. And then, of course, we'll be back here on Sunday for church. Okay? Love you all. God bless you, everybody. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here tonight. Good night.